Hi, in this video you are going to learn how to tell time to the nearest minute. Let's look at some important information before you start with the lesson. A minute is a small unit of time and an hour is a large unit of time. There are 60 minutes in one hour and you also want to note that a.m. is the morning and p.m. is the afternoon or evening. Now that you know this important information, let's move on to look at a digital clock. So on a digital clock, time is shown as hours and minutes, the hours first and then the minutes. The first number shows the number of hours and the second number shows the number of minutes. The number of hours can be between 1 and 12 and the number of minutes can be between double zero, which is just zero, and 60. So as you see on this clock, the clock shows 1047 a.m., which means 10 hours and 47 minutes after the hour in the morning because it's a.m. Now that you know how to read a digital clock, let's move on to look at an analog clock. This clock right here shows the time May comes back from school. There is the hour hand, which is the shorter hand on the clock, and it tells you the hour. So in Meg's clock, the hour hand is between 3 and 4. You want to note that when the hour hand is between two numbers, you want to take the smaller number as the hour. So in this case, if it's between 3 and 4, the smaller number is 3, so the hour is 3. The longer hand is called the minute hand and it tells you the number of minutes on the clock. So each number on the clock tells you that five minutes have passed. So if the minute hand moves from three to four, five minutes have passed. You can count and find the number of minutes and by skip counting. So if you start up at 12, you could skip count by fives and figure out pretty quickly the number of minutes on a clock. Specifically, you see, in between the two numbers, there are five little tick marks, and each tick mark is a single minute. So from one to two, you know that that was five minutes, and you'll see you can count one, two, three, four, five with each tick mark. So to read time to the nearest minute, you're going to first look at the minute hand, like this one right here. If it's pointing directly at a number, you can just skip count by five, starting from 12, and you'll land on that number. But if it's in between two numbers, like this analog clock, then you have to stop at the smaller number and count up by one minute at each tick mark. So let's try that. Here, this clock is the same analog clock, but it shows you in red the number of minutes, skip counting by fives, that have passed. So let's start at 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, this is the smaller number that the minute hand is in between, so we're going to stop at 45 and count each tick mark until we get to the minute hand. 46, 47, 48. So this clock right here shows that May comes back at 348 and she gets home in the afternoon, so it's 348 p.m. In this video, you learned how to tell time to the nearest minute using both an analog and digital clock. Good luck with your future problems!